is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a two-in-one wwe elite figure review on the wwe elite series 99 trash corbin and matt riddle figures now i thought about putting boogeyman in here instead of trash corbin but i figured we could take out the trash you know we can take out the trash already we got featured trash corbin here every time this guy gets a figure he gets a new formula have we ever seen anything like it this is his fourth elite and every time it's been a new formula unbelievable then we got matt riddle over here looking good first time in the line scooter accessory I do believe. Very excited for that one. Nonetheless, this is our second two-in-one review of WWE Elite Series 99. We had Brock and Seth yesterday. If you guys missed that, go check it out. But here's Trash Corbin in all his glory. You got the, you know, Trash or Sad Corbin. And then you got the, you know, the billionaire or whatever lottery hitting Corbin there, which is pretty cool. This figure looks pretty sick. I'm excited to see what it looks like, even though he is Trash. And then there he is laughing at somebody. And then there's all the good stuff there. So we also have Matt Riddle over here. I'm, I'm liking the look of this figure. It may be his best elite ever. We'll have to see. It looks like he he doesn't even have hair right here. If this little piece of hair wasn't right here, I think he'd look pretty uh, like he was shaved head or something. Nonetheless, he comes with the cloth goods. We got all the good stuff going on, but I'm excited to see what this freaking scooter's about, man. Like, uh, let's let's get in here and look at it. But that wraps up our packaging, man. Let's shut the hell up, crack these guys out of their packaging, find out what they're all about, and see if they're worth a goofy god dang. All right, guys, so here is Matt Riddle and Trash Corbin out of their packaging, of course, going round and round. Really digging what we're seeing here. I like a lot of things about both figures, man. Elite 99 off to a great start with our review yesterday and then coming into it today. I mean, we're, we're, we're on fire right now, man. Really great stuff from Elite 99 so far. But how will these compare to the other figures we've gotten of these? Is there any issues with these? Let's find out together, man. Let's dive into Trash Corbin's accessories and Trash Corbin. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Matt Riddle's accessories and Matt Riddle. All right, guys, so getting into Trash Corbin's accessories, you do get a couple interchangeable head sculpts, get some hands, get a fedora. <laughs> no, seriously, though, a little side note. I like to tell the little side stories in my reviews, so just buckle the hell up for a minute. There's a kid named Alex. So I, when I was in elementary school, I went to this thing called Target. It was for gifted kids. All right, I was a gifted child. I was a genius. I was a baby genius. And we went to, so once a week, me and a group of kids from my elementary school would get to go to this place, and we would mix with other elementary schools. Well, there was this kid named Alex, and he wore a fedora, and God, in heaven. They used to give that man so much shit. I didn't bully him personally, but everybody gave that man shit about the fedora. I mean, I don't like fedoras, but he didn't deserve all that now. It comes with Alex's fedora, and it looks pretty good. It's got the little feather in the cap right there, and it does fit the figure well. Now, I'll be honest with you, we'll cover this when we look at the figure itself, but I feel like the heads are a bit big on the body, and we'll look at that in a moment, but it, it fits really well, and it doesn't pop off like Brock Lesnar's cowboy hat, so we'll take that. Nice looking fedora, and Alex, I'm sorry you had to go through that, buddy. But this head sculpt looks really good. But again, it's too big, honestly, man. It's it's such a, it's too big, but it's got really good likeness. Looks just like trash, and it's got a nice chin strap on there. I think it looks really, really good, and it's accurate to trash. It even has the tattoos on the back of the ear, so you get the little dollar sign or whatever the hell that is, and then you get whatever the hell that is, Lobo, on the back over there. And then for your down on his luck, Corbin head sculpt, you even got some, like, salt and pepper going on in the beard, and he's, like, down on his luck. And this right here looks like a kid from my elementary school, too. His name was Trey as well as mine, right? He was the only other Trey in the school. His name was, I don't even want to tell you what his name was, just because I, I don't know how, how you'd even find him anyway, but it looks just like him. The kid I went to elementary school with, he used to steal everybody's pencils, and he was a dickhead, and then he got kicked out of school, I think, so how about that, son? There's only room for one Trey in this son of a bitch, but yeah, that looks like him, and he's probably, he may look like this now, because, I mean, I don't know. Nonetheless, you got the balding head sculpt right here, receding hairline, great looking head. I think that both of these look really good. I just think they're a bit oversized for the body. We'll have to see about that, but there's the head sculpt. We also get cloth goods here. Now, one thing that I think was kind of a miss is I know they have the ketchup stain right here, which does look realistic. It looks like a nosebleed or a ketchup stain on there. I think they would have been better off leaving that off, and then if you wanted to get the shirt like this and then put it on there yourself, you could, because it's just so random, man. I think I'd rather have a blank shirt to put on a lot of different people rather than have that on there. I don't know if you could bleach that off. I don't know if you could acetone that off. I doubt, I doubt it, you know, but it's a nice button-down white shirt. I wore one of these the other day. And it looks just like it. We're going to see what it looks like on the figure later on. But this could work for a lot of guys. You could probably put it on some other people for fix-ups and customs. But it looks great. Quality as hell. Elite 99 bringing the smoke. And then you get interchangeable mic holding hands. And he comes with his own pair of Kawhi Leonard Ricochet entrance handshaking hands. Whatever the hell. Does anybody out there know why I call them the Kawhi Leonard Ricochet hands? I feel like only OGs of the channel remember that. 
All right, man, so taking a look at the trash here, we do have a nice looking head sculpt. Again, I don't dock the head sculpt, but you guys can already tell like the head to shoulder to torso ratio right here. Not really feeling it, honestly, but if we, you know, not talking about the head, I love that you can see the tattoo through the shirt. Nice attention to detail. I love this newly sculpted torso and arms. I think we're going to probably get some reuse out of this. I think it's a great mold. I just think the head is way too damn big, to be honest with you, but the sleeve mold is nice. These are double jointed arms. You even have his tattoos in there, so this figure is actually well made made it's just the head sculpt's too big i think and the legs look ah, i don't know i just think the head's too big i think that's the real main setback but he's got black wrist tape on there i love the arms and the shirt the shirt is fantastic very you know this is like kind of like the cane corporate cane legs or the build a figure legs here you know with the ugly looking design but they can do a crazy you know wide hip that like actually hurts my hip flexor to look at that but tons of articulation with the thigh cut you know no lower shin but you know it's just a black slacks in there nothing over the top or crazy but if you do back this guy up i think you can tell how big his head is i mean just look at him man just simple as that the head's too big now i do have this other trash corbin or the trash corbin you know the the meme on the channel if you put this head on here it would be perfection i think because this head's perfect size but like look at the size difference between these man that's kind of ridiculous but as far as your other figure get the hell out of here where your trash corbin figure comparisons here is all of the all of the corbin elites we've seen this man has had a different formula every single time you have his first release his second release his third release and then this is the current release of course with the trash figure custom down here thanks to my man fig skip yeah i mean man's had a new formula every single time it's kind of insane i don't i cannot remember another character that has had four different molds especially on their first four different figures i mean that's that's absurdity but this one was too short this one was too skinny this one was pretty much perfect this one's got too big of a head you know those are, those are the different things but this one's the most accurate i mean let's be real most accurate right here it looks good you know it gets the job done all those things but seriously if you put that head on there it would look a lot better and I'll see what this head sculpt looks like on the Trash Corbin figure. But I feel like you got to put the bummy head sculpt on there to really get the accuracy. And if you guys wanted to see what this figure looks like with the bummy head sculpt on there, there's that. And that honestly looks better in my opinion. I think it looks more accurate. But we do have to put the shirt on here. And it's not going to look completely right because you're going to be able to see the stuff underneath. So see, yeah, it just looks dumb because uh, he's not shirtless underneath. So I think if you really want to use this, use this head. Put it on one of these other elites and then... And, uh, put it on different legs. I'm gonna try to make a custom or something, but there is the trash Corbin in his other get up, uh, even though he won't stand up that well. These feet, the, these kind of legs and feet always have that issue, I feel like. But yeah, it just, it, it's great. I love the idea of the two in one. I love the interchangeable head sculpts, but I think you gotta use a different torso in order for it to really capture the look. But that is it for your trash comparisons. All right, guys, so getting into Riddle's accessories. Starting out first, we do get this fantastic scooter. And I love this, man. I think this is an awesome accessory, of course, for his entrance. I mean, you even have like the stuffing right here, or the padded handle right there. It is just all solid blue black but you get some nice sculpts here now it does separate right here which i figured out i i guess to store away or something but i guess you could use it in a match you know break it over somebody's head i don't know but it does have operational wheels right here so that works you get the platform there and then you do have the color there so i guess you can hit people in the ankle with it but it is operational and you know we, we took a look at it with him on there for the intro there so you guys could see it but i think it works out well i like it a lot i think this is a great accessory and I, you know hope we can get some usage out of this somehow outside of that we do have the purple hey randy shirt not my favorite shirt ever kind of honestly not a good shirt at all and i don't feel like the colors are accurate i feel like this is like way more green than the actual shirt the shirt was like a volt not green like this but i guess it doesn't matter that much but you know it fits the figure solid it gets the job done it is a shirt that he wore and it's a cloth shirt so i'll always take a cloth shirt they always give riddle his slides a cloth shirt or a cloth accessory of some kind and then his hat and i always like it but there is the shirt they also have his black hat here with the you know the rk bro logo on there with the viper and then the hat and the hair coming off you know for riddle and randy orton but this looks good i like it does it fit the figure as far as it fit in the figure i think it fits on there good it kind of doesn't really grip the head but it still looks good on the figure nonetheless but it will fall off there so it does sit on there good it just won't grip his head so be aware of that we also get black slides which we have seen a couple times now i think we did get black slides on his last elite but the slides look good they match the gear well enough you know so it doesn't really bother me i'd like to see a new color but it's not the biggest deal they're a nice sculpt and they fit the figure well so i always appreciate the slides and then for interchangeable hands you do get the mic holding hands 
You get the dial it up, hang loose style hands that we've seen quite a few times now. And for the first time ever, we finally get some Randy Orton style hands with our Matt Riddle there. So, you know, he can do his entrance where he gets down on a knee there. Pretty sure these are the same mold as the Randy Orton hands. So they look pretty good with no tape on there. And in this skin tone, I'm pretty sure we may have gotten these with the Randy Orton SummerSlam figure, but I feel like his skin tone's a little bit darker than Matt Riddle's in these figures. But yeah, there's the accessories. Golly, his thumb's a bit curved right there. All right, guys, so getting into Riddle, this is a head sculpt that is slightly new. I want to say we saw it on a battle pack or something like that, but I switched the head sculpt. I like the first basic Matt Riddle head sculpt. I thought it was the best one you'll see in the comparisons because I can't find my first Elite, but I do have the second Elite, but I did do a head swap like I'm saying. But this isn't bad head sculpt. I think this is better than the last one, the light hair. You know, it's got kind of a light brown tone going on. I think you could use like some darker brown, maybe mixed in there, some highlights. He's got the Macho Man Randy Savage torso. He's got the mushroom tat underneath on the ribs there. He's got the double jointed arms, which looks so much better. Can you believe they gave this man Kalisto arms on his first Elite? I mean, unbelievable, to be honest. But, you know, here we are. He does have the new red trunks with the bro in gold and black. Got the WWE logo. And then on the back, it just says Riddle there. And I like that it ends on the upper thighs instead of continuing the paint down. I think, I don't know, I just think this looks cleaner, I guess. I don't know, just aesthetically pleasing how you can turn this. And it's cut off right there. I don't know. But he also has the lower shin cut. He doesn't have any, you know, anklets on this time, though. So, but he also has his bare feet there that he can beat the hell out of you with. But this figure is pretty solid. This might be, I know the first Elite was in white and gold and black, which is, you know, just bonus points for me. But this figure may be my favorite of the three Matt Riddles. I just like the colors of this one and the head sculpt solid, even though if you take this one and compare it to the second Elite that I put the basic head on, I like this head sculpt the most. His first ever figure, I think. I like the hair color better. I like the head sculpt here. I think it has better likeness. There are both up next to each other. And then you gotta get his boy in here. So, you know, you gotta get Randy Orton in here. And these look really good up next to each other, I'd say. So, you know, we had the Elite 98 Randy Orton and then the Elite 99 Matt Riddle. And these look good up next to each other. And RK Bro, genius name for a tag team. And I'm sure that we'll probably get a couple more elites of these guys. Maybe, I don't know. But I feel like they got to clash at WrestleMania, you know, once Randy Orton's back full and good to go. One of my favorites ever. And Matt Riddle has been really enjoyable. But before we get out of here, I do want to take the scooter again and kind of show you guys what it looks like on the figure there. So, you know, you can prop him up there. You do want to feed the, the handles through here. And since he's double jointed, you know, he will be able to grip both sides of the scooter here. And then, you know, you just got to bring that up, bend the arms in a little bit, reach the wrist down there, and then, you know, put the foot on there. And then, bam, look at that. He can push off and all that stuff. That looks awesome, man. I think he looks great. I think the scale is good on the scooter. You know, I'd be afraid that it would be too small, but I think they nailed it. I think the scooter's awesome, and I hope we get more little mini vehicles like this. I think this is the first time we've ever seen a wrestling figure with a scooter. Am I right about that? But there is your Matt Riddle comparisons. Pretty cool stuff. Let me know what you guys think of the scooter and the Matt Riddle down in the comment section below. But I think that pretty much is going to wrap up this 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 99 review of Trash and Riddle, man. Had a lot of fun with it, and you know, you know, I'm not a Trash Corbin fan, but damn. This figure's alright, man. However, we do have Matt Riddle here, and you know, it's his third Elite, and I think his figures are getting better and better. That's always the plan, right? That should be the plan. You want to release a better version of the character time and time again. And I think they did nail that with this figure. I'm excited to rank this set because I think it's going to be an interesting ranking when it's all said and done. Going to be really tough to rank because these figures are a lot of fun. But yeah, that is going to wrap up this review, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below if you'd like to grab these. You can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. You crossed the line.